Female External Reproductive System he external genital organs include the mons pubis or mons veneris, labia majora, labia minora, vestibule, clitoris, skein's gland bartholin glands, forechet, perineal body, and hymen. The area containing these organs is called the vulva. The external genital organs have three main functions, enabling sperm to enter the body. Protecting the internal genital organs from infectious organisms. Providing sexual pleasure. Now let's know more about each part. Mons Veneris also called Mons Pubis, Mount of Venus. The Mons Veneris is a pad of fatty tissue and thick skin that overlies the symphysis pubis in the woman. After puberty it is covered with pubic hair. It protects the pubic bone from trauma. Labia majora. The labia majora are two prominent longitudinal cutaneous folds that extend downward and backward from the mons pubis to the perineum. Its function is to protect the external genitalia and the distal urethra and vagina from trauma. It is covered in pubic hair that serves as additional protection against harmful bacteria that may enter the structure. The next part on the female reproductive system is the labia minora, also called as the minor lips. The labia minora is a spread of two connective tissue folds underlying the labia majora. They range from light pink to brownish black in color in different individuals. The internal surface is composed of mucous membrane and the external surface is skin. It contains sebaceous glands all over the area. In older women or in women who have low estrogen levels, the skin of the labia minora becomes thinner and loses surface moisture. Then next is, vestibule. It is a smooth, flattened surface inside the labia wherein the openings to the urethra and the vagina arise. The other part is called, clitoris. The clitoris is a small, circular organ of erectile tissue at the front of the labia minora. The prepuce, a fold of skin, serves as its covering. This is the center for sexual arousal and pleasure for females because it is highly sensitive to touch and temperature. Now let's talk about the glands found in external part of the reproductive system. The skein's glands. Also called as periurethral glands, they are found lateral to the urethral meatus and have ducts that open into the urethra. The secretions from this gland lubricate the external genitalia during coitus. The other gland is called, Bartholin's gland. Also called bulbovaginal gland, this is another gland responsible for the lubrication of the external genitalia during coitus. It has ducts that open into the distal vagina. Both of these gland secretions are alkaline to help the sperm survive in the vagina. Now the other part is called, forchette. This is a ridge of tissue which is formed by the posterior joining of the labia minora and majora. During episiotomy, this is the tissue that is cut to enlarge the vaginal opening. Then the perineal body. This is a muscular area that stretches easily during childbirth. Most pregnancy exercises such as kegels and squatting are done to strengthen the perineal body to allow easier expansion during childbirth and avoid tearing the tissue. Lastly is the hymen. This covers the opening of the vagina. It is tough, elastic, semicircle tissue torn during the first sexual intercourse. That's all for these topic. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel to gain more knowledge about many things, and click the bell button for more updates of my latest videos. Thank you. And always remember that the moonlight shine brights for us to explore more wisdom.